right now, Fal. I think you should be called the Parfessor because all this does, young man does is rack up par. Parfessor. I love that, actually. You are? Oh, he's the Parfessor. He's the Parfessor. He's the parfessor. Let's go. And if you're looking for collaborations, try and reach out. And we're done reaching out. We're here. I'm going to you look that, at I've been Uppsala's you. famous golf course that they deploy in Sweden. We've never been there. But we're going to go in back. the near future. Coming we'll be celebrating together the it golf that we learned together. To build the list better, because right, quit for I think we're not going to have the best list here. So let's zoom on into the top three courses, dropping the name of the golf course at the bottom left-hand side. I can't pronounce that, so we're just going to move quickly through. But we're going to tell you a little bit about facts on these courses. Here we are at a facility like none other. About 400 golf reviews to choose from, and it's a solid 4.4. The course itself is just about couple dr minute drive from the main city I recommend playing the East Stenton course it's a semi-private 6,680 meter long with a slope of 137 and a rating of 76.3 The course was built in 2019 by Hendrik Stetson and that's the name of the course the Stetson course it, the bay by the Stetson there's also appears to be another course here. Let's talk about it. This course is 6,416 meters. It's a parkland style. It's a par 70, and it's the original course here being built in 1990. Zooming on out, we're grateful to have a couple more courses to take a look at. But more importantly, we need to let us know which courses we missed. We're not too sure uh, you know, about this area. There's not many courses, but some of them are the best in the business. Swinging in to Number two here, 4.4 4 out of 5 with 370 golf reviews to choose from. This one, I tell you, it is a remarkable par 72, stretching 6,000 meters at 5,954 meters from those white tees. It is a slope of 129 and a rating of 72.3. The course itself was built in 1993 by Mr. Erickson. And it's pretty reasonable, but you're going to spend some good money. You could really see an incredible golf course from these aerial views that we were able to pull. Overall, this is a top destination. It's considered a top 10 in the country by major golf outlets. Golf Now has it pretty high as well. And Golf Magazine has considered this a hidden gem among golfers and golf enthusiasts. That's going to leave us with just one more course here to take a look at in this wonderful area. And we have to end it with a course named after the beginning of the list. A solid 4.6 with the highest Google reviews out of all the golf courses we were able to pull. It's 177 golf reviews. Solidify this list at number one. And let's talk about the historical course here. And overall, this one I think might be a target for most golfers as a no-brainer. It's the top 100 in the country. Hands down, it's the top 10 in the country every year, and it's arguably the best golf course in this area. And that's why we put it here at number one. It's semi private, it's a parkland style, stretching 6,177 meters. There's a lot of golf happening here, and the course that we recommend is the 18 hole course that's a rating of 74.5. It dates back to 1964 originally. We can see Robert Kinhins made some updates in 2010. Ever since then, there's a driving range, some other major amenities you can see right there, and not as much parking as you would suspect. That's going to do it for our list of top golf courses in this area. If you made it this far, we highly recommend you subscribe down below to the Parfessor and Independent Golf Channel focused on affordable, fun golf in your area. Keep a lookout for more videos to come.